I think it can be argued that Kepler is one of the most important astronomers of all time. Before Kepler, observational astronomy collected data and tried to perceive a pattern in the, the, in the data, but failed to do so for reasons that I'll explain in a moment. When Kepler properly understood the data, that was at one point of a funnel, and the funnel opened up again when Newton developed his theory of celestial mechanics, which explained that data. So Kepler led to Newton, which led to everything which followed Newton. And without Kepler, Newton would not have been able to validate his theory of celestial mechanics. The fact is that before Kepler, Observational astronomers were obsessed with the notion of a circle. From the ancient Greeks to Ptolemy and to Copernicus and Galileo, they all believed that the planetary motions could be explained in terms of circles. And it wasn't until Kepler in 1605 noticed or showed or observed that the planet Mars was moving in an ellipse that a major breakthrough had taken place. For an ellipse, this distance plus this distance is the same for every point of the ellipse. That's the definition of an ellipse. And Kepler's second law says that the sun is at the focus of an ellipse. The planet is here and the sun, the, the, the planet moves around the circle, the, the circuit of the ellipse. And the second law of planetary motion says that this line sweeps out equal areas in equal times, as if the planet moves from here to here in one second, then this is the area swept out. And if it moves from here to here in one second, then this is the area which is swept out. And that area is always equal to that area, irrespective of where it is on the surface.